Now I want to talk you through some MCQ questions relating to the refractive index and critical angle topic. The diagram shows a ray of light in air incident on a glass block. Some of the light is refracted and some of the light is reflected. That statement automatically tells me that the angle of incidence must be less than the critical angle. Do watch my video on the theory of the critical angle to understand how I've arrived at that conclusion. Two angles P and Q are marked on the diagram. Which row gives the angle of incidence and shows whether the ray undergoes total internal reflection? So because the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, as opposed to greater than, I know that no total internal reflection can have taken place. And then in terms of knowing which is the angle of incidence, remember it's the angle between the normal, this dotted line here, and the incident ray, which means it's Q. The answer here is C. The diagram shows an object in front of a plane mirror, which label position is the image of the object formed. Do draw some rays here. So we need a ray coming this way with an arrow pointing in this direction. This is how the eye sees the object. And then in terms of the position of the image, you need to track back because it's going to appear behind the mirror. And so the answer here, as you can see, is B. Which diagram correctly shows a ray of light reflected by a plane mirror? So with reflection, you're expecting the angle of incidence to equal the angle of reflection. Just check them out. That's the angle of incidence. That's the angle of reflection. No, they're not the same. No, they're not the same. Remember that this is a 90 degree angle here. Again, not the same. And finally, yes, we have the correct answer. Which diagram shows how the light from a candle is reflected by a mirror and shows the position of the image formed? So we just did a question very like this. So here's the ray of light bouncing off the plane mirror into the eye. If you were to track back, as you can see, A is the correct answer here. The diagram shows a ray of light inside a glass rod. The critical angle for the light in the glass is 42 degrees. So our angle of incidence here is 40 degrees, which means it's less than the critical angle. So no total internal reflection takes place, but some reflection and some refraction will occur. So actually there's some reflection because the light ray is exiting the glass. It's going to bend away from the normal I'm just showing you that's what would happen. But yes, is reflection taking place? Yes. Is refraction taking place? Yes. The answer here is D. The diagram shows a ray of light traveling in a substance P. The ray reaches a boundary with substance Q. Total internal reflection occurs at the boundary. So we know that the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle. Which row contains correct statements about angle X and the optical density of substance Q? Right. So angle X, I've already said that the incident angle must be greater than the critical angle, so we're choosing between C and D. In terms of the optical density, we know that substance Q must be optically less dense. Which diagram shows how a ray of light could pass through a glass block in air? Let's add some normals. So here's our incident ray. It meets the boundary of the glass block and then rather than following that route, it bends towards the normal and then as it leaves the glass block it speeds up so it bends away from the normal look these lines these rays are parallel the answer here is a the diagram shows a ray of light passing through a semicircular glass block into air i can see refraction taking place automatically i know that the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle which ray gives the correct name for angle p that's the angle of incidence and states how angle p compares with the critical angle Right, I've already done that. I've said it was smaller than the critical angle, so the answer here is B. A plane mirror is used to form an image of an object at which label point is the image formed. Here's the person's eye. And then we need to track back. The image is exactly the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front. The answer here is D. The diagram shows a ray of light traveling from X. Angle P is less than the critical angle. So our angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, so no total internal reflection takes place. 
So just make sure you're happy with which direction refraction will occur in. Because it's going from glass to air, the ray speeds up, which means it's going to bend away from the normal. So the answer here is B. The diagram shows light traveling from air into glass, four angles VWX and Y shown, which formula is used to calculate the refractive index. It's sine I over sine R. Here's your incident ray. Here's your refracted ray. So we need W over X. The answer here is D. The diagram shows light passing from air into glass. The glass has a refractive index of 1.5. What is the angle of refraction? So we need sine I over sine R equals our refractive index N. Sub in your values. I is 30 degrees. We're going to do sine 30 divided by 1.5, and then you want to inverse sine on that answer. The answer is 19.5 degrees. The diagram shows a ray of monochromatic light passing through a semicircular glass block. What is the refractive index of the glass? Interestingly, we see both reflection and the ray going along the boundary, which tells me straight away that the incident angle is the same as the critical angle. So our incident angle is 40 degrees. Sine C equals one over N. So we know that the critical angle is the same as the incident angle, so it must be 40 degrees. Do one divided by sine 40 to get an answer of 1.56.